Hello. And welcome. Welcome to today's session. Uh, this is Nellie Doig and see me. <laughs> Uh, so it's great, great to have you um, on this uh, live class about rewarding and motivating badges. If you could add in the chat box where you are from and uh, where you are. Are you in your study like I am? Are you uh, in the living room, in the kitchen, outside, wherever you happen to be? If you could just share that with us. So uh, we've got people from around the world generally to these live sessions. Hello, Tom from Valencia, Venezuela, in your study too, drinking coffee. So I hope everybody has their cup of coffee uh, ready, I think. <laughs> Sometimes I give a session without coffee just to make sure that I'm not becoming addicted to uh, drinking coffee during my sessions. Paraguay. Hello, Maria. So I'm going to be in Paraguay in a couple of days. Actually, in two days, I'm going to be landing at the airport. So I'm looking forward to meeting you. I hope, Maria, you're from um, the same school where I'll be visiting. Ramesh, hello from Delhi. Great. I hope to be in India very, very soon. It's about time that I got to India. India is very close to my heart. It always has been, by the way, uh, even before I got involved with WizIQ. So when my husband used to work in India and even before that. So yes, Ramesh, I'm looking forward to uh, some hugs. <laughs> I love to meet people that I've been in touch with and uh, Ramesh and I have been in touch with for quite some time. I don't count internet years, but there are a lot of years. All right, so we're going to get started. Philippines, any other countries, people going to be coming in. Uh, Vlad, I don't know if you added where you're from. Susan, hello from Hawaii. Um, I hope to get there soon too. My father promised me many years ago that we'll go to Hawaii together, my sister, father, and I. All right, so great to be here. And rewards. All right, so uh, rewarding is a way to motivate. But why in the world would we want to reward anyone for anything, okay, and uh, with badges, okay, why the rewards, okay, we're going to be asking lots of questions today, uh, we'll try to get some answers going here, but the first question is, why, all right, so in the chat box, if you can add some of the reasons why you would want to be motivated with a badge, or rewarded with, why do you, I'm not talking about your students, <laughs> Uh, think about yourself, okay? First yourself, and then we'll, you know, uh, teachers are like parents. They always think about their kids or their students. But let's try to think about ourselves, okay? Ourselves as people, as human beings. Why do you want a badge? So Remus says, high visibility. What does that mean? Can you explain, please? Okay, in a few words, explain what you mean. Ah, very good, friends. Cisco, uh, to know that we're doing things right. Okay, I mean, that's you. You want to be reminded that you're doing the right thing. So, you know, you can think of children, too. You know, you, children want to be rewarded. Um, <laughs> we train animals through uh, rewards, you know. We give them food or, you know. I'm thinking of animals, and the reason is because my son's trying to uh, train his dog, Apple, to do different things. You've probably seen Apple, uh, the dog that I hold. <laughs> okay, that's the dog, and the dog was here today visiting, and uh, yes, uh, rewards, achievements, that's right, Hensei. Hello, Sebastian. To feel proud. Very good. Stars. If you like gold, maybe you prefer silver or, I don't know, paper? Paper, anyone? Okay, so there are lots of reasons why you want to be rewarded. But would you please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down? Do you want to be rewarded with a badge? How many would like to get badges? Okay, so uh, I'm going to put, I love badges. And I can think of badges when I was at camp and I loved canoeing. I don't know if you're familiar with canoes. Are you familiar with canoes? 
So everybody wants to be rewarded. So um, we used to do different things for our skills to be able to manage a canoe. And I would get a badge for, you know, the different levels. And I became a master, <laughs> you know, at the age of, I think, uh, 12 or something. I was a, yeah, exactly, Sebastian, like the scouts. But I didn't go to the scouts. I went to camp. I didn't have time for the scout. Well, I did a little bit maybe, but not enough. So I was rewarded for my canoeing skills, and I became a master canoeer. I could teach others to use the canoe. Um, and then I also had swimming badges. How many of you had swimming badges? Okay, for, you know, different levels of swimming from beginners. You could put the badge on your swimming suit. So from, <laughs> okay, from beginners to uh, intermediate advanced, and you'd have to do different kinds of tests in order to get your badge. So remember those badges? I don't know if they still have them these days. Do they have badges these days? <laughs> Didier, hello. Do they have them? I'm not sure. I don't know because I'm not involved in physical. You know, we used to sew the badges. Well, I didn't sew them, but my mother... <laughs> My father also used to sew them. Okay, so um, I don't know if they have badges these days, physical badges, okay, so that you can sew them. So the why for the badges, you know, so uh, if you had to summarize the whys, uh, what would the reasons be for badges, uh, for example? Like the scouts, yes. So, you know, maybe for skills, right, for different skills, for levels, and levels usually talk about skills. Anything else? To complete a whole, I guess you're influenced by my jigsaw, Sebastian. Well, it's not my jigsaw because it's not, it's been around for many years, but the idea of yes, that's right. There is this idea of wanting to complete something whole, so you get different levels, and then you are a master. Yes, I love that idea. Certifications, that's right, Susan, so that you can uh, be qualified. Qualified, I was qualified as a, you know, as a trainer, I guess, canoe trainer, and, and later on uh, as a co swimming coach, believe it or not, uh, I was able to also teach swimming and different things, you know, even though I'm not a you know, I don't think I'm that great a swimmer, but at least, you know, you, it motivates. Yes, definitely motivates. That's right. A lot of motivation. And it's fun. You know, it, it kind of excites you. Okay. Um, and that's the why. The next question is, what's the next question? Let's see if uh, you can come up with, guess what I have here. Yes, mastery. Thank you, Susan. Yes, Susan. I love that. That's right. That's a key word for today's world. You know, it's not about degrees. Degrees are really going to have to leave. <laughs> I, I hope they'll leave. You know, I have a degree, the highest degree because I'm competitive by nature. But, you know, a badge would have been just as good. I mean, you know, I don't even, I never even framed my uh, PhD. I did frame my master's, but I never framed my PhD. It's, you know, it's just a degree. It's not, it doesn't look right. <laughs> you didn't either. You know, I, I would like to, hitch, you know, and I would walk around with a badge. You know, the, the, to have this certificate hanging on the wall. You know, it's useless. So maybe that's something that we should consider. So the next question is, and here we go for the next question. The next question is where? Not where are you going to put your badge, but, yeah, they're ugly. Yes, even if they're nice, the certificates are nice, Tom. I mean, I can't walk around with a certificate, you know, showing who I am. And I don't want to put a DR or whatever because I think it looks ugly. You know, I, I prefer Nellie Deutsch than to have a title at the end, at the beginning or at the end. But if I had a badge, I could wear it. You know, a little badge saying, you know, that I completed this degree or whatever, like a pin, exactly, very good, Sebastian, that's what I want, I want a pin, nobody gave me a pin, so where, where can I get 
badges. Where can I find them? Okay, now we're talking as teachers, but also as students. Where can I get badges? Where can I qualify for these badges? Degrees don't have badges, so forget them. Online courses, all right, yes, definitely. At school, colleges, I wish, Francisco, I wish they had badges there. They don't. Community Service Pro, excellent, Susan. They give you badges. You know, they respect you. They value your work. And I think that's really important because as someone said at the beginning, to show you that you're in the right direction, to show that you've got the skills to motivate you to continue. And community services projects provide you with badges. Universities don't. They don't care about us. You know, they don't value our work. You know, so it's something to think about is in our heart and say says yes in our heart no no we want everybody to know that we got a badge okay that's really important for us and here is one place where you can get a badge mastery exams yes you know susan i think we should uh, maybe get a club here or get a community of um, interested parties we could create a community of people interested in promoting the badge idea you know instead of uh, it's happening by the way it's happening university give badges really thomas well that's amazing but not for degrees do they give badges for a degree imagine for a ba you get a badge oh really wow that's great all right so maybe i should get a start my degree program again in venezuela Or maybe I can, the, ah, the best students, so I don't get them. But I got a pretty good grade, you know, score is I see for honorary students get badges. Okay, Susan, I'm I'm there, all right? I'm there and, I, and I, I'm doing everything I can. You know, they can't fire me, so I could do anything. <laughs> so, yes, I'm not afraid and I would love to reform the education movement around the world, not just uh, in one country. I think that we can uh, work together. Oh, well, I got 95% and up, and nobody gave me a badge. <laughs> All right, so, so one place we can get the badges, unless the universities don't give them, is Moodle 2.5 courses. Moodle now has, um, I don't know, who is not familiar with Moodle? Give me a thumbs up if you're not familiar. If you're familiar with Moodle, give me a thumbs up. So uh, what is your Moodle situation? Are you familiar with Moodle 2.5? So we've got some people who are. By the way, there's going to be another Moodle MOOC. Okay, another Moodle MOOC in, let me put the date here, in October. We're going to have Moodle MOOCs four times a year. can help it. Okay, if I'm, if I'm able, we're going to have uh, another Moodle MOOC. In October, every three, fourth, every four months. So three times a year, we'll have, uh, you'll be there. So I hope to see everybody. Ramesh, yes. So uh, yes, for Moodle, so you'll learn more about never ending. That's right, Thomas. If I said it, I have to keep, stick to my word. All right, so Moodle 2.5, we're going to do it. Okay, we'll try to um, get lots of sponsors to make this possible. I've got some people lined up. Okay, so one place is Moodle 2.5. You can create badges, okay, for each of your courses, for different things. At the end of the term, yes, you can do that. Um, or, you know, in the middle, or for different activities, and so on. You can also have badges for WizIQ. And they're planning on doing this and making it easier. They're working on it right now. I have uh, suggested it. And by the way, you can make a lot of suggestions to WizIQ by going into support on WizIQ because WizIQ is really inter they're interested in improving uh, everything. So feel free. Oh, there's some echo. I wonder. Let me check to make sure that everything is okay and there are no echoes. All right. I'm going to check and make sure that everybody... Oh, you don't hear an echo? Oh, it's clear. All right, so I won't check. 
All right, if there's an echo, you may have two live classes open, maybe. I don't know, maybe you've got two sessions open. So check it out. In any case, feel free to um, contact, support. If you've got ideas, if you've got problems or anything, contact them. I'm using a headset. <laughs> Always use a headset. All right, so with IQ courses, we'll have badges. Where else can you get badges? Like you said, online and face-to-face. -face. Now, I'm going to ask you, do you give any kind of badges or some way of rewarding your students in a face-to-face -face course? How many of you actually give badges in face-to-face -face courses? Okay, so there it is. Thomas, you do. That's wonderful. Oh, because your university does it in Venezuela. Uh, Abdullah, actually, it's uh, badges, and we'll see the different kinds of badges. I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about uh, how, and not just where. Okay, so giving badges the way we gave badges in uh, a camp, you know, where you sew them on your bathing suit or in the scouts where you put them on your, uh, whether it's, you know, uh, on your, like soldiers, you know, soldiers get rewarded for uh, rank. So that's the kind of badges that we're talking about. Okay, next question. What's the next question? The next question is, when? When do we give badges? And that's up to you. Okay, when we're talking about, say, courses, somebody mentioned the end of the term. It could be on activities. So in what situations? When do you give badges? At the beginning, at the end, in the middle, after they finish a certain level goal, exactly, if it's some goal that they attain. You know, attaining goals. Let's say they have a, you know, a goal they want to get, a hundred and they attain their goal, or they want to get 70 and they attain their goal. It doesn't have to be, you know, where a hundred is the best goal. It could be 60. Let's say somebody's at 40 and they want to get to, um, you know, they want to get to 60. That's their goal. So you give them a badge for attaining their goal, you know, so uh, numbers have other meanings. They don't have to be, you know, the best is a hundred. The best is not a hundred. The best is whatever you have decided is your goal. I mean, everyone can get 100, and you can also get 10. I mean, I, I used to get either 100, and when I wasn't motivated, I could get, I could fail, and I did, you know. I used to fail courses as far as numbers go, okay? So uh, it's actually not the student that fails. It's more like the teacher who fails because the student failed <laughs> sometimes, okay? So it's... Yeah, but it's, you know, it's not the class. It's your personal goal that could be, you could be credited with or, you know, skills or, you know. So when it comes to goals, the when, the next question is how. Okay, and that's what we're coming near. How do you, okay, how? How do you uh, create badges? How do you create them? Do you go to a company and have them create them, um, you know, these things cost money. So how? You need to be creative, that's right. Okay, so there are different kinds. You can print them. You can create them online these days. You don't have to go to a company to have them create them. All right, and this is how. Okay, you can create your own badges online. It doesn't have to cost a penny. Oh, if you do it in a company, of course it costs money. If you're going to have, you have to buy the material. If it's made out of, I don't know, brass, it could be made out of gold. <laughs> you can have gold badges. It could be made out of silver. It could be made out of, you know, cloth. It could be made out of anything if it's, you know, a company actually doing something physical. But you can create it online and then maybe print it or sew it or, you know, different, there are different ways and of doing it. But if it's online, it could be completely free or you could pay for it. You can get a company to design, uh, you know, your um, badge. Yes, if it's not digital. But even digital could cost money if you want a designer to do it. Who's going to create it? Are you going to create it? Are you a designer? 
maybe get your students to create it or I don't know. Anyways, open badges. Open badges, if you, uh, you'll get the link to um, this, uh, I think it's here. Let's see if I have it on my mouse. If not, let me share the, uh, the link to, um, okay, to this um, tutorial. Okay, so this is a tutorial. If you click on the, the images, how come it's not working for me? Let me try it again. I'll try it one more time. I don't know if you uh, received this. Um, sorry, uh, let me try again. I am trying to get to uh, the link to the, uh, let's see, rewarding with, here it is. So here is the link, so I can share it with you. Here we go. So here is the link to the um, tutorial, because I don't know which course you came from. Some of you might have come from blending and flipping and blending the classroom. That's one course, and maybe this is a public class, so I'm not sure where you are from, how you got to this class, Okay, but there's the uh, tutorial. So if you click, if you go into the tutorial and you click on open badges, you'll get the link, okay, to the open badge. And welcome to those who came in late. My name is Nellie Deutsch and we're talking about open badges. If you want to get the uh, tutorial to that you see on the whiteboard for this presentation, it's available right there and I'll keep adding it as uh, new people come in. If you're watching the recording, you can click on the uh, chat and get everything that is available. Okay, so here is the link if you, okay, this is a wiki Mozilla org badges. So there are open badges, you can join the club at the open badge and um, Mozilla or Firefox as they're called uh, has a badge program where you can create the badge. And notice what they have here. The idea is, of course, to be able to connect learners for lifelong learning. It's to promote learning. And I think it's really kind of uh, Mozilla, Firefox, to do this. But Firefox is about open sources. So open badges, there are communities you can work together in creating your badge. Okay, another place is pick badges. Okay, so if you uh, either go into the link that I just shared with you and click on this slide, either on the image or on the link, pick badges, and you can log in with your Facebook and create badges. This is completely free. And by the way, notice how many members have joined so far. 15 million members. So it's becoming really, really popular and very sought after. Today, it's not only a private thing, but online badges are a big hit. Not just for learning and rewarding skills, but also friendship badges. People share badges for different occasions if they celebrate different things, you know, birthdays, anniversaries, uh, first day of school, final day of school. People are giving each other badges as a way to reward them for their love, for their care. So if you've done someone a favor, instead of bringing you flowers, they'll send you a badge online badge. Okay, so you can create pick badges. Another one, you're welcome Deborah. This is what it's about. So Deborah, if you click on the tutorial, you'll be able to get this at a click of a finger, as they say. All right, another great place is Facebook. I don't know if any of you are aware. How many of you realize that Facebook has a badge system where you can create badges? Oh, you knew that, Thomas? That's great. You didn't? Okay, so if you knew about it, that's great. If you didn't, now you know. And that's great because you'll be able to do it yourself. So there's something called Facebook badges. All right. So you see these organizations, you know, um, Mozilla, Facebook, and you'll see the next one, are really interested in 
promoting badges because it's a wonderful socially engaging way to get everybody sharing and learning together and rewarding one another. It doesn't have to be a teacher or a company that rewards its workers. We can be rewarding each other. So if you're happy with this session and you're really pleased, you can send me a badge. <laughs> I mean, that kind of thing. Or if I'm happy with your, you know, um, chat box work or whatever you're doing, I can send you a badge and I will. Okay, so this is just one way that we can reward one another and make this world a happy and better place. You know, instead of um, complaining, we could be rewarding one another. All right, so this is a great way, a socially engaging way, and Facebook is about socially engaging. So you can create a profile badge, a photo badge, a like badge, a page badge, and so on. Okay, so these are badges. The next one is Make Badge. I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Make Badge. Sorry, um, are you familiar with? There they are, Make Badge. It's also completely free. So you can make a badge. Hello, Corzo. Good to see you here. All right. Next is my favorite, of course, because I think that Google is doing so much for education and for getting people together in such a positive way. I mean, I am on Facebook, but to tell you the truth, I'm kind of tired of Facebook. I think that it's more about... Uh, selling shoes and different things. It's all about marketing and marketing for money, not for free. And I think Google, yes, uh, Susan, I share your, I love Google because I think Google is doing so much. I mean, if you think of the search engine today, uh, it's Google and it's, you can search for scholarship things, academic um, writing and journals and, and research. You can live on Google and, and do so much learning. So you can create badges in different shapes. You can have a profile badge that could be round, like this one. You can have one, again, like this, for developers. Developers. Today, Google is actually going for developers. And there's so many things that developers can do. And you can be a developer, too because Google makes it so easy for even people who don't know much about, uh, say, you know, uh, HTML or PHP or any some kind of a uh, language, a computer lab, can actually join Google developers and contribute because Google is making it easier. So if you're interested in that, there's Google developers. And there's, of course, developing with Google+. Plus. Okay, this is a community badge and you can get it. You can get rewarded by Moodle as well. And here it's called Developers at Moodle. And I just want to show you an example so you don't think that I'm talking off my head. Uh, this is, and it's easy. They just, you just go into this website and, and they do it for you. Yes, they're working with teachers. On Google, yes, definitely. So notice here what's happening. This is my logo for integrating technology. All right, and look what they did. It's round. I didn't do anything. And then you've got your um, widget. Yes, Deborah, you too. And here's your widget. And you, if you want to customize your snippet, this is called the snippet. And it comes for you. If you just go into developers Google, this is what I got. Okay, so you don't have to do anything. Trust me. You don't have to do a thing. You don't have to know anything. They do it all for you. Now it's your turn. Okay, we've got about 30 minutes, which is enough time for you to create and share your badge. All right, so your badge. Oh, you need, Thomas, a badge for your IT. So create. you can create one. You can also use uh, this one. Okay, there's the, the widget for it. I can share it with you if you like. If not, you can get it um, on the tutorial. All right. So let's hear from you. Okay. I would like to hear from you and um, what you're going to do. Okay. What are you going to do with badges? Okay. First of all, you're going to create one. So what are you going to choose? Okay. There's the, uh, the link again to the tutorial. So 
which one are you interested in? Okay, which uh, organization are you going to try out? Okay, there are a few of them. Okay, which one is the most appealing to you? Okay, there are three of them. Okay, there's open badges. Okay, which is the same. That's open badges. There's pick badges. Actually, there are four. There's Facebook. There's make badge. And there's Google. Okay, so that's more than four, really. Open badges. All right, why open badges? And we've got Google. Why Google? Why? Have any of you tried open badges? Has anyone? Give me a thumbs up if you've tried open badges. No. All right. <laughs> All right. That's why you chose it, most likely. Anybody here uh, has tried it? I have. Oh, you have? Open badges didn't work. Okay. Thank you, Thomas. You tried. All right. And Marion. Hello, Marion. I'll try the... Yes. I would not. It's very appealing, right? Open badges. I have tried it, and I have also uh, been disappointed. Okay? Yeah, so don't... I would not start with open badges. It looks very appealing. I know that Martin Dogeyamas from Moodle mentioned it. I am not... I was not happy. This is a wonderful color. I like the colors. I like the idea, but I have tried it so many times, and I did not succeed. This is great. Take a look at it now and see why I think it's great. Okay, so it's pick badges. It is very, very easy. It's a lot of fun and it's for different reasons. So if you go there now, just take a look at it now and see how you feel. What is the link? Can somebody get the link for us? It looks funnier. I would not, it's not just funny. Take a look at it. There are different pages on it. It's pick badges. I'm not sure if I can screen share today because, um, well, you know what? Let me try to take you there. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, Sebastian and Susan. You're awesome. Yeah, take a look at it and see what you think. Okay, let me try to take you there so we can share. Oh, I see everybody got it. That's excellent. Okay, I'm going to screen share and take us there. Okay, there's open badges. Now, notice the, uh, the image will be changing in a minute. Okay, there it is. Whoops. Uh, the image changes. Okay, I'm going to... Stop screen sharing here. Let's go back to uh, the class. Uh, if I can, I think there's a mess here. Oops. Let's see if I can get back to class because I think I caused a mess here. Uh, let's see if I can get back. Okay, so this is Mozilla. I think I just uh, threw myself out of the class. Let me try to get back in. All right, I'm going to try to get back into class. Because I think I kicked myself out. Well, let me find out if I kicked myself out or not. Yeah, I think I just kicked myself out. Okay, so uh, let me go back in. I think I just kicked myself out. I apologize for that. 
the reason I kicked myself out is because I'm trying to record this. Sorry, it's not an excuse, but I'm trying to record it and through Camtasia. And for some reason, I'm not able to get the uh, Wes IQ class today um, in a new window, so it's uh, it's separate. All right, so I hope everything's okay, and I can... Uh, is everybody okay? Uh, I'm not screening, screen sharing, I don't think, anymore. Even though it looks like I am, I'm not. All right, so everybody okay? I took you for a little... Yeah, I, I kind of uh, went around in a circle. Sorry about that. Um, I was trying something out, and it didn't work out. I'm always experimenting. That's one of the things that I do, uh, because I'm trying to... Uh, do different things on different computers. All right, so how many have tried it? Have you tried it? Um, were you able to go into pick badges? See, Take a look and see. Uh, oh, hello, Diana. Good to see you. I didn't see you at the beginning. I guess you just joined. Maybe I missed you. Take a look and see how it feels to go there. Okay, you're on it, Sebastian. Okay, so let's hear, um, I'd like to hear from you. I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, we've got a few minutes. I'd like to hear from you. If you've got audio, a microphone that you know is working, could you uh, share that? Okay, just raise your hand and let me know if you've got a, a mic. Okay, great. DJ, you say audio okay, video okay. All right, DJ, can I pass on the mic to you? Uh, is that okay? I'd like to hear, oh, hello, St Stale is here. I'd like to hear a little bit about um, your experience with pick badges. We could do two things. We could do it by audio, and we're also going to do it by creating a whiteboard. Okay, so just to hear about your experiences here with, um, so Didier, could you maybe raise your hand? And we can get the experience. So, did you, did you raise your hand? No, I don't see a raised hand. Oh, there we go. I found did you. Okay, great. Now, everybody else, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you tools. Okay, so uh, are you ready? Okay, I'm going to give everyone tools and you'll see how I did this on YouTube okay so uh, I want to give everybody writing controls okay so right now everybody has automatically writing controls now when you get writing controls if you could just go into the A there's an A for text okay so if you hover your mouse over it you'll see A All right, so everybody should have uh, tools right now. And DDA, you should have... Oh, it's going round and round. It doesn't seem to be working for you, DDA. For some reason, it's not. Okay, somebody moved the, uh, the screen. So, uh... all right, so you're all on pick. Okay, pick badges. And you're not going to touch the screen. Oh, you took away the whiteboard. 
uh, somebody's playing around. All right, somebody doesn't like to uh, follow instructions, so that's okay. All right, so you're on the whiteboard, everyone. Oops, somebody keeps doing that. Why do you do that? Leave it alone. Just stay on the whiteboard, okay? I mean, I could delete it, but I don't want to. Okay, so, um, and I'd like you to write down your experience with pick badges, okay? So what's happening with pick badges? What have you done so far? And did Didier didn't work. So can I give the mic to someone else? And did Yale give you writing tools? And Valentina. I see some people joined in now. We've got some new... Um, so, okay, everybody should have tools. And... Um, Right now we're on pick badges, and I may have to remove the um, the slides because somebody keeps opening them. So I can just remove it. But would you like me to remove it? So if you could just write down, okay, um, use your writing tools. Oh, somebody is annoying. You know what, I'm just going to delete it, and then they won't be able to do it. Okay, so whoever is playing around, I'm just going to delete the um, the PowerPoint so you don't play around with it. Okay, I'm going to close. <clears throat> excuse me. I'll close it and then they won't be able to play around with it. How's that? Okay, so. There. Now there's no PowerPoint to play around with. Let's see what, okay, so whoever is goofing around. Uh, all right. Okay, so who's got the mic? It works fine. All right, let me try again, DDA. Let me try again. I don't give up that easily. All right, so there's DDA. I'm passing it on to you. There we go. We got you. Hello. Yeah, great. I'm, I'm so happy to see you. You need a headset. You have one? Then it's... It's so loud. Okay, Yes, yeah, if you, yeah, thank you. But your video is so awesome. Wow, great video. What are you using? What are you using? What kind of... I, I have an iMac too, but my video is not as good as yours. I have a... So why is your video better? That's not fair. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. All right. So, the yes. All right. So, uh, Didier, could you tell us your experience with um, with the website, with uh, the pick badges? What have you done so far? We're talking about pick badges. Okay, for those, uh, I had to get rid of the PowerPoint presentation because somebody was playing around with it, but I could put it back. So if you could, everybody could just add their experiences with pick badges, and DJ is going to tell us what he's doing. DJ, do you want to screen, you want to screen share? I don't know if we have time. Can you go there now and tell us what you're doing? Just uh, walk us through it. Okay, so can you go there now? Can you go there now? Just click click on it. You know, click on it. And and go there now. Um, yes, right through. Yes, exactly. There we are. And tell us, uh, you know, tell us what's happening. Okay, there it is. Go there and, um, yes, go ahead. Tell us what. Yes.
great? Yes, I hear you very well. Oh, nice, nice. Isn't it amazing? Easily, right? It's easy. Fun, eh? All right. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to give other people audio so they can tell us how they're doing. Oh, there's someone with a tablet device. I don't know who's got the tab. Susan, oh, you've got the tablet, so it's not going to work for you. Hello, everybody. You're all online. Your mics are all open. I don't know if... Yes, of course. Who's talking? Yes. Yes, there was a lot of noise. There was a lot of noise. What I'd like to do is I'd like to give it to one person. Um, so Didier, thank you. And I'd like to share. If you don't, if you've got a uh, tablet, it's problematic. But if you don't, I think Susan. Uh, let's see, Diane, 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 you've got the mic open, so you can speak now. Yes, we hear you. <laughs> so tell us, uh, what have you done so far there? Like, how's it going? Great, wow. Is that somebody's baby? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's cute. That's great. All right. So how come we don't see you, though? I gave you a video. I don't see you. Oh, okay. I thought I gave you video. Um, so, Di Oh, we see you now. Hi, Diane. We see you. Um, great. Anybody else uh, want to say hello with their cameras? Um, you know, raise your hand if you... Yeah, that's Sebastian. Hi, Sebastian. How's... It's nice to see your faces as you're working. You know, I can see everybody is working, trying to get the badge ready. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to share. I'd like to ask, um, you know, if you, if everyone is on the, um, on the in the course, and if somebody could add the course. Oh, you sent me a badge. Thank you, Thomas. That's so sweet. Um, if you could let us know if you're on, in the course, um, the name of the course is uh, Blending, if somebody can add the link, Blending and Flipping, or is it Flipping and Blending? I'm not flipping, Blending and Flipping or Flipping and Blending? Probably Flipping and Blending, something like that. Uh, with technology, does, does anyone have the link to it so we can all be on the same page? Flipping and Blending, thank you. Does anyone have the link? So that you can add your work. You can share it with me, by the way, on WizIQ. Now, WizIQ has a new feature where you're able to share. So, Thomas, can I pass on the, uh, at least I think we can see, probably see Thomas, if not hear him. And Susan, I'll try and see what happens. Thomas took off his video. All right, so Thomas doesn't want us to see him. And... Um, and Sebastian took away his video. Okay, Sebastian, whenever you're ready, you can bring it back. Oh, you missed about flipping and blending. Okay, so Deborah, I guess you're new right now. But there's the link. Sebastian added the link to um, flipping and blending with technology. So it's a free course. Whoa, what was that? An airplane? Oh, Sebast I see, Sebastian. Okay, all right. So I'll take away your... Um, there we go. And Diane took away her um, speaking over there. So it's just Didier and I. 
So anybody else want to join the um, the video so we can see you as you work? Susan also took away her um, video. So Sebastian, yes, it's just the two of us. Maybe Megan, we can see you as you work on your badge. There we are. Hi, Megan. Good to see you. Oh, yes, very well. And you're standing or are you sitting? I don't know. It looks like you're standing. Are you standing? I'm just... <laughs> there's Didier. I'm... <laughs> All right, that's good. That's like Jason. Jason Arlovina is always standing when he's, um, you know, with when he's got his webcam open. He never sits, so that, that's okay. Um, all right, so how's it going with, with the badge? Are you working on it, trying to work on it? That's great. I think it's, I mean, that's the first one that I had up because I think it's quite good. There, we got you, Thomas. I want to see you. It's, it, you know, it makes such a difference to be able to see the people that you're talking to. And I'm hoping that one day we'll be able to see you know, hundreds of people at the same time, and we could just, you know, go from one to the other. Um, but that's, you know, that's, I guess, the future of technology, and hopefully it'll be soon. Ramesh, I'm going to share it with you as well, because I know Ramesh usually has... Um, there we are. Hi, Ramesh. You've got a nice blue background. I keep saying that, eh? I think the blue background is really important to have, like, a, a color behind you, they say, it's a lot better. And Susan, I don't know what's happening on Susan's end. There we go. Yeah, we hear you. Who's talking? Ramesh, was that you or Thomas? Yeah, it is Ramesh. I recognize your voice. So how's it going with the badges? You see, I'll tell you why it was really important for me today to find um, badges that work. Because with open, as um, Thomas also mentioned, with open uh, badges on Mozilla, it doesn't really go that well. And I was very frustrated. And I thought, you know, we want to create badges. It has to be easy. We don't want to uh, have to feel like we need to be developers to do it. And I think that pick badges is really, really easy. Um, with Google, you don't have to do that much work. It's really also easy. Okay, so we, if we go to, um, let's say, the last few slides here. Uh, with Google, it's quite easy too. But it's not as make badge. Yeah, Google. Yeah, Google is uh, developers. Yeah. It's developers.google.com and then plus and the badge. If you're interested in that, you can actually Google just badge. Google, if you write, you know, Google badge, you'll be able to get to um, the same link. Yeah, isn't it unfortunate that um, Mozilla is not that user friendly? And then there's make badge. Has anyone tried make badge yet? If you Google make badge, it's quite easy as well. Oh, you're done with it? With a pick badge? Wow, that's amazing. That's great. Ramesh, have you tried it yet? You're working on it? Oh, yeah? That's great. That's great. That's, oh, there's a cat. What a nice cat. Love cats. Well, that's a big cat, though, DGA. You know, I think that's probably a very, wait a minute. Is that, is that a, a wild cat or what? Is that a, 
a ha you know a house cat or is it <laughs> oh you have a few I have one two one yeah that's great cats are wonderful six cats wow that <laughs> okay that's wonderful now my yeah, no, my cat's outside most of the time. I don't have any pets in the house. They're usually outside. So, um, except for my dogs when they come to visit. All right, so, yes, uh, thank you for sharing that, uh, Remish. Um, I think that that's a great badge. Okay, so really badges should, um, you know, uh, should look like badges. But do they have to look like badges or, you know... Um, it's really up to us. Uh, let me just, um, we've got three minutes to go. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to share the badges. Ramesh, you can also share it in the, uh, in the course. Again, um, the blending and flipping course that um, Sebastian added to the, uh, there, the class. Okay, so there it is again. I think it's there again. Uh, Sebastian, can you add it again? I can't seem to be able to copy it. Maybe I can. There, I got it. I got it. There. Okay, so there's the course. If you could uh, join the course, add your badge there and share it with the rest of us, that would be great. And try to experiment uh, with all of them. You know, there are a few of them here. I think that, um, and see which one um, works for you. All right. So I'd like to thank you. Thank you very much for uh, joining us in this session. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing your badges. Thank you. Thank you so much. If this was your first time, I hope you had a good experience. If it wasn't your first time, I also hope that you had a good experience. And uh, send feedback. Feedback's really important. So if you had any issues or problems, send your issues to uh, support at uh, wisiq.com. They want to hear, they want to improve, and I think that's uh, very, very important for all of us. All right, so have a great weekend. Continue with it tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank you. This was recorded. Salut, salut, salut. This was recorded on Camtasia, and I will share the recording with you.